Okay, uh, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to do like a quick starter's guide to gaming on Linux. Um, I'm going to assume you have like a working system, all your drivers and everything are installed. What I'm going to be doing today is going over like Proton, how to set it up, how to configure some launch options, uh, how to look at logs in case anything breaks so maybe you can figure out what's going wrong. And then we're going to do the same for Lutris uh, plus wine because Lutris needs wine to work. So to start in Steam, you'll click Steam in the top left, go to settings and then go to Steam Play and then you'll want to enable Steam Play for all other titles. This will let you download all your Windows only games and it will stop the install button from being grayed out. Now for launch options, um, if you right click a game, go to properties, then just in general, you'll see these launch options um, and these let you configure like features that aren't on by default or like turn features off that are causing something to break. So if you want to output a log what you want to do is do proton underscore log equals one and then make sure it's followed by percent command percent and then this will output a log in your home directory and it will be called something like steam dash and then whatever the game's id number is dot log and that will just be the log output for uh, proton okay now if for whatever reason games just break uh, you'll want to go to properties, uh, we'll go to local files and then browse and we'll go up two directories. We'll go to comp data and this is where Proton stores all your prefixes. So Cyberpunk, I believe this is its game ID. So in here is like our Windows directory for Cyberpunk. So if anything breaks and there's just no reason for it to be breaking, what you can do is you can come in here and just delete the folder and force proton to regenerate a fresh prefix for it i like to close steam before i do this because otherwise sometimes steam cloud thinks those files are supposed to be deleted and you lose your cloud save so i would close steam before doing that and then if the game doesn't support steam cloud i would uh, you'll have to uh, back up the save okay so that's pretty much everything you'd need to know about proton all right so for lutris you click i believe it's this button right here you can download uh more versions for wine and then if you click up here on the left you go to sources and lutris and you go community installers you can search for things and use community made scripts to install things and then another option you have is to go into here click this plus button and you can make your own prefix. I, I just got super hot off of itch.io, so we'll make a prefix for that, I guess. We'll just name it super hot. Game options executable. We'll leave blank for now. Arguments, we probably won't need that. Working directory. Uh, we'll go to new games and I'll call this super hot. Okay, I'll hit OK here. Then I will just copy and paste this for the wine prefix. We want these two to be the same pretty much. Uh, then we'll go to runner options. I'll just use my system default. So this sandbox directory is for like the documents and the pictures folder. Otherwise, uh, it will sim link them to your like system, uh, your systems like documents and pictures folder. I like to sandbox them just to keep things clean. Uh, then system options. I don't think I need to change anything in here. We'll just leave that default and I'll hit save. So now if I go over here and we'll open the wine configuration just to generate our prefix. And then I'm going to change this Windows version to Windows 10 just because that causes less compatibility issues. Because otherwise a lot of the times uh, it'll say this game is only supported for Windows 10 and above. Even though nothing changes in Wine when you change these, it just all it does is change what version Wine says it is. Okay, now what I'll do, I will just copy my super hot game folder. Okay, I'll just make a new folder here. We'll call it games. Then I will throw super hot in here. All right, now that that's done, we'll just right click this, go to configure. Um, we'll go to executable. Uh, mount, new games, super hot, drive C, users, the beans, games, super hot. Now we'll just click on this executable. We'll save it, then we'll hit play on it. And if everything goes as planned, there we go. Super hot's launching. Okay, and then we made our own wine prefix to play a game in. Uh, so it's a little bit different for installers instead of like a finished game. So we copied the entire finished game in there. If you just want to 
run an installer, you'll want to click this little up arrow. You'll want to run exe inside prefix, like, and then you just run the installer, right? And you'd go through with it. And then after you were done uh, installing it, you would uh, change this executable to whatever executable you needed for you whatever you just installed. So that's what you do for installers. Um, now, if you run into any problems, you can right click and show logs and this will show you spit out the logs so you can uh, try and fix any problems you might have. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and uh, leave any comments or suggestions down below. Uh, feel free to donate if you want to support the channel and I will see you later.